We've got Stuart Rebdonald from Hashtag Lucky Irish Pub and Grill. How you doing, man? <laughs> He's fine. How are you doing, Jeff? Doing fantastic. Did you have a good 2013? Actually, I had an outstanding 2013. That's good. And you've got green on, which is supposed to bring you money in 2014. Oh, and we've good. got some I'm greens in the kitchen as well. Yes, we do. You know, uh, we try and do about probably 20% of our menu at Lucky is seasonal. Okay. So what I'm doing, we've got a new seasonal menu coming out next week. So I'm doing a couple of those things today. And we'll start you off with a good healthy salad. Sounds good. So we get a sneak preview today on Studio 10. Very cool. All right. This is our winter salad. And that's what we call our salads, whatever season it is. That's the name of it. <laughs> that's the name of it. <laughs> so on our winter salad this year, we're going to go with some uh, green leaf lettuce. Okay. We're going to mix in some spinach. And that's the mix we like to use for all our salads at Lucky. Now, there's an interesting thing about spinach. It has an amino acid in it mm -hmm. that, if you eat it raw, actually blocks your body's ability to absorb nutrients. Mm. That's why you usually see spinach cooked when it's uh, served. But you can break that amino acid up with just a little bit of uh, acid, and usually you can get that acid from citrus. So clementines are in season right now, especially here on the Gulf Coast. We have some beautiful citrus food. Sure. I didn't know you were a scientist as well. Uh, well, there's a good deal of science involved with cooking now. Yes. Food science we're talking about here right. this morning. So I'm going to add my clementines, and then because it's wintertime and everything, I'm going to put in some dried cranberries mm -hmm. and turkey to keep it nice and lean and healthy. And look at what you're doing with that, the roll-up style. Yeah, just to make it look purdy. <laughs> Per you're all about uh, those, those words. We got turkey lurky. We got purdy in the kitchen this morning. Yeah, and if you uh, if you ever look at our menu, you'll notice a lot of our small dishes have uh, sauces for dunkifying. Oh, dunkifying, yes. All right. Now the the fat that we're going to put in here to give make it a little luxurious is actually goat cheese. We like to use okay. Henrietta's goat cheese from out right on the state line, so we can keep it local. Perfect. But uh, the goat cheese is a little tangy. And when it hits the sweetness of the cranberries and the uh, clementines, it really balances out nicely. And this is a good healthy cheese. It's not too fatty like, uh, like a cheddar would be or something like that. And then the dressing we like to serve with it is our very own balsamic vinaigrette that we make in-house. And you can see it comes together that easy, and you're ready to go with a nice, healthy salad to get the new year started. Ready to go. All right. So we've got, a, what are we going to do in our next segment here, Stuart? Next segment, we're going to do a new sandwich on the menu called the Turkey Lurkey. That's the Turkey Lurkey. That's the Turkey Lurkey. But you know, we've got other new items coming on, too, that aren't healthy. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. We're going to do an <laughs> Irish breakfast egg roll mm -hmm. that's going to have cheese, bacon, and chopped eggs inside of it. Mm. And we're going to do a very modern twist on corned beef and cabbage. It's fried Brussels sprouts. Corned beef, bacon, and more of the balsamic vinaigrette. Wow. All right. So we'll talk more about Lucky Irish Pub and Grill in just a little while and get to work on our turkey lurkey sandwich, Danny. Welcome back to Studio 10. I'm in the kitchen with Chef Stewart from the Lucky Irish Pub and Grill. Earlier in the show, we showed you how to make a winter salad, and now we're going to be making a turkey lurkey sandwich. Right. Is that the name you came up with? Yeah. I've actually been wanting to call a turkey sandwich the turkey lurkey for years. All right. Well, so you got your way. What do we need to do to get started? All right. Whenever I make a sandwich with toast, I always like to start the toast the very first thing. It's a weird trick of physics. You can either have hot toast or you can have crunchy toast. You can't really have both because the heat in the bread makes when, it soft. Right. So what I do is I start my bread first let it finish, and then I'll start putting together the rest of the sandwich. And just coming down maybe 20 degrees in temperature mm -hmm. will give you warm toast that stays toasty. That's a nice tip to have. Yeah. And I see we've got some heat going here. What are we going to do with this skillet? Right. All we really need to do is we've got some nice smoked turkey here. We're just going to put it down. All we want to do is heat it through. Okay. And uh, probably take two or three minutes on each side. And then once we flip it over, we'll put the cheese on it, and you just want to leave it until the cheese melts. And this will be really an easy sandwich to put together when you're done. But the other ingredients I've got going into it are going to be our homemade Thousand Island dressing. Awesome. And our lettuce and some tomato. Let me get my Thousand Island. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you make Thousand Island it's dressing? It's really easy. It's mayonnaise, ketchup, pickle relish. That's, that's it? A, that's Thousand Island. Now, we do add in a little bit of Old Bay seasoning because Thousand Island is not really a dressing. It was invented in Maine in a region called the Thousand Islands for a seafood dipping sauce. So I always like to put a little Old Bay in there. And then we've got uh, one of the new things we've got coming on the new menu is these bite-sized crab cakes. 
We're going to put the Thousand Island with that as a dipping sauce. But it also does really great on a sandwich like this. And I've toyed around with a burger. Get that to pop up here. I've toyed around with a burger that's going to have the Thousand Island on it and then topping it with potato chips. But I'm, I'm still not exactly where I want to be to put that on the menu yet. You know what I like? I like that you're full of facts today. I remember <laughs> the fact you gave us about the spinach earlier. Now you've right. got a fact about the Thousand Island dressing. So now our toast is ready and you're going to spread that dressing on there? Yeah. And it's a, it's a very simple salad. I'm just going to put a little bit of the Thousand Island on here. And of course, if you worried about the fat that's in the Thousand Island, or you can always use a mayonnaise made with canola oil. Okay. <clears throat> that significantly reduces the fat, especially the saturated fats. And uh, then you're pretty much doing okay. It's odd though, those, uh, all those light salads that they do, mm -hmm. or the light mayonnaises, really not good for you. Because they usually are made with either high fructose corn syrup and Not or good. hydrogenated oils. Mm. So the canola oil is healthier, plus it tastes just like mayonnaise because that's what it is. Another awesome fact from Chef Stewart. Mm. So just the Thousand Island, some lettuce, a tomato or two. You can put four or five on there if that's what you like. I load mine up with tomatoes. I love <laughs> tomatoes. All right, and I'm serving these today with some of our pub-made chips. We fry our own chips in the pub. We've got our own special seasoning that we put on them. We even make nachos with them. Yummy. Yeah, it's, an, it's called Irish nachos, and we uh, drizzle it with some of our beer cheese soup, some corned beef, some bacon, a little bit of sauerkraut, a drizzle of some of this Thousand Island dressing, and then some, this uh, incredible Irish cheddar that we use that's really Sounds sharp delicious. and really tangy. So the chips are very popular. A lot of people come in and just get a big basket of the chips with some of our Ulster aioli to dip it in. Mm -hmm. And it is just absolutely terrific and it only costs you two dollars. Tell everybody where you're located. We are at 3692 Airport Boulevard and that's right there at that corner of Yester Oaks, Mont Lamar where they come together at airport. Mm -hmm. So you got Panera on one side, Olive Garden on one corner and the World on the other corner in the old Patio Tools location. Okay. And we will be gearing up for St. Patrick's Day. You can believe it. We're going to have the tent outside just like Patty's used to do. And uh, we're going to do it upright for St. Patrick's Day. All right. So when this cheese melts, <clears throat> it's going to be ready to put on the sandwich, right? Exactly. The sandwich will be done. Okay. Well, that's pretty simple. If you guys don't remember the recipe, just go to Fox10TV.com, look on the Studio 10 tab, and there you have it. And we're going to check back in with Chef Stewart a little later in the show. Stuart Reb Donald in the house from Lucky Irish Pub and Grill working on some turkey recipes today. We did a winter salad featuring turkey. We're also working on uh, your turkey lurkey sandwich. Yeah, and it's pretty much done now. The, the turkey's heated through and the mm -hmm. cheese is nice and melty. All you got to do is just put that there. Put the tip toast on top. And you're ready to eat. And voila, ready to eat. So a great place to stop by for lunch or dinner. Now also what we were talking about is a great place to stop by for the bowl games. Tell us about that. Absolutely. we got 18 TVs. 18. Large screens. Mm -hmm. And one giant screen. It's about a 12-foot screen that we drop down up on the stage where the bands normally play. Wow. Pump the uh, audio through the house system. Mm -hmm. You can even hear it out and back in the... Uh, we have an outdoor game area where you can do... Uh, was a cornhole yep. and a ring toss, and uh, we pump the sound out there for it and everything, too. Pretty awesome. So if you're looking for a place to watch the uh, Sugar Bowl tonight, the Go Daddy Bowl, we hope you actually go to the game, but if you're looking for a place <laughs> to watch, you can stop by. And, of course, the BCS National Championship on Monday. What a great thing. 18 TVs and one giant screen. Now, we made healthy stuff today, but you said you have a full gamut of things on the menu, lots of different choices and options. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the great things about the salad that I did is so many people like yourself have a New Year's resolution to drop weight. Mm -hmm. And that's what I call the you're just kidding yourself diet. In one <laughs> restaurant I was working at, some ladies came in the first day after New Year's said, yeah, I'm going to stick to my, my New Year's resolution. I'm going to get a salad. So they got the grilled chicken salad. Can you substitute that with fried chicken? <laughs> and then not only did they get ranch dressing, they got two extra ranch dressings. Mm. And a, uh, a cup this size of ranch dressing mm -hmm. is the equivalent of an order of french fries. Oh, wow. There is the only low-fat, low-calorie dressings that are out there are all vinaigrettes. All if it's vinaigrette. creamy, it's not good for you. All right, remember that as you make your New Year's resolutions as well. Lucky Irish Pub and Grill, go check it out. Stuart, thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, Danny.